Morning adventurers. Today we're in Winsford, so um, I'm on um, Weaver Valley Road near Morrison's and I parked the car park here um, and I'm going to take you on one of my favourite runs uh, which is down the Weaver Way, down the River Weaver. Um, there are several routes from here but this is yeah, and I was deba debating which one to do. I probably will come back and do another one of them at some point. Um, anyway, so right now it is uh, 10 to 6. And first light is about, it's about 25 past 6 this morning. Uh, um, daybreak. So, um, as you can see, we can still have the moon out behind a cloud so and it's broken cloud this morning so we might actually get a nice sunrise today's video is brought to you in association with Asilis by Spritzer the natural silica-rich bottled water from the Malaysian rainforest that researchers revealed removes potentially neurotoxic aluminium from the body. To find out more and buy some, visit runadventurer.co.uk slash water. Today's run starts from the free car park on Weaver Valley Road in Winsford and follows the course of the Weaver past Vale Royal Locks and the Blue Bridge at Hartford through to Hunt's Locks at Northwich where you cross over returning via Marshall Arms Nature Reserve and through to Vale Royal Locks again on the other side crossing over again and then retracing your steps for the last couple of miles back to the car. So you could park here where I've parked on Weaver Valley Road. Um, it says it's open between dawn and dusk. It was fine today. If, you've, if it is locked, you can park just round the corner by the start. Okay, alternatively, you could park here. Um, 1.3 miles into the run uh, so to get here you go down past the salt mine and then you can get into here to park so it's 1.3 miles in so you're gonna knock at least two and a half miles off the total route so if you're looking to make it a shorter route this is the place to go Winsford's a relatively new place. Um, originally there were two villages, uh, Wharton on this side of the Weaver and um, Over on the other. And then um, come the Industrial Revolution time-ish, they uh, altered the course of the Weaver further up. They put in removed the course and they put in some locks which allowed large vessels to get all the way up to Winsford here and so um, there's lots of salt here and so it allowed them to get the salt and um, get it down the weaver down to Liverpool. As you travel down the Weaver, you'll notice these keys still remaining from where the boats used to moor to take on the salt which was produced right here. All around this area there were salt pans, so they'd pump brine out and dry it to get the salt. Um, that then would cause collapses in the land, creating flashes, which you'll see all over Winsford today. 
I was just talking to a chap who uh, his, uh, his dad, or his, his uncle, <laughs> used to uh, do the nine o'clock blast. So apparently at nine o'clock at night, the whole of Winsford from Wharton up to Over would shake as they uh, blasted the load more salt out. Behind me you can see the salt mine where to this day they dig out the salt so the mine is probably about a mile down. The, uh, the blast has long since gone and now they use a digging machine and dig leaving collars and support so that the whole place doesn't subside uh, leaving columns as they go. Um, over here where some of the salt is also here. This was until the 60s, the site of a vacuum salt plant where they were making white salt, mostly for West Africa. Here we've got Vale Royal Locks. And on the other side, and the trees up the hill, is uh, Vale Royal Abbey, a Cistercian Abbey. Uh, back in the Norman times, all of this was uh, woodland, heavily wooded, uh, used by the nobles for hunting, until eventually it was gifted to the Cistercian Abbey. And we're off. Today's run is about nine miles. Uh, to start with, if you're an existing subscriber, welcome back. I hope you enjoy this. If you're new to the channel, please consider clicking the subscribe button on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. There are new videos every week and you, it, you'll be notified if you subscribe. Also it really helps the channel if you subscribe and if you enjoy the, the, the video please click the like button again that helps us. Anyway sit back, relax and enjoy the route.
Okay, I'm going to cross over here, over the bridge, and then head back down the other side. Let me just point out though, if you carry on uh, down the path here, just whew, hardly any distance at all, a few hundred yards, you're going to end up uh, at the railway arches by the Salt Museum in Northwich. So if you cross the road there through the park straight on, down a side street you're going to find yourself at the traffic lights in the middle of town 
go straight on up the hill past Sainsbury's and then you're going to be um, at the flashes at the top of Northwich so if you look back to some of the other videos I did a video or a, a route around Northwich so if you want to make a long run an epic long you know 18 20 mile run you could join two up or if you want a full day walk again you could join two up
just coming to the end now. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, make sure you're subscribed. Next week, we're heading to Chester for a, a run around the Roman walls, so you don't want to miss out. Anyway, take care, folks. See you next time.